Hello and welcome to my channel again. While recording, uh, the power went off. So this is continued from part one. If I will be able to merge these videos, it's okay. Then this is continued as part two. So I was telling you that this is a very difficult to hold the trades in profit and keep the nerves calm. Now 54,000 and it is near 500 and my target is 55,000. Now let us see what happens. Nothing can be said with certainty because at any moment any pair can retrace and it happens that it takes the time to reach the target. Now GBP New Zealand is very near to its target and let's see other pairs. Uh, Euro AUD that's running very well. Its target is very far, but our aim is to achieve the ten percent and pass this challenge number two and get the third challenge. Uh, Euro UD is moving very fast uh, in the trend, very trending market. Same way GBP New Zealand is also moving very fast and, and it is approaching to its TP. Let's see what happens and let's see what is happening in GPP JPY. GPP JPY is also moving according to its trend, trend very fast. Let's see how far it is from. It is also near to its TP. 54,500. Now 500 are remaining to achieve the target and I hope to achieve the target. And I'm keeping myself calm. And it is very important to remain calm and quiet and believe in uh, our strategy. Uh, GBP JPY is also running in train very fast, very good. And uh, let's see now Euro GBP. Euro GBP is also trending. Let's see here what it happened. It was about to break even me in sixty-six dollar profit. But now we are near to our target. Fifty four thousand five hundred. Fifty four thousand now six hundred. Four hundred remaining. Let's see what Euro UD is also doing moving very fast. We need only three 
hundred plus dollars to reach the target. Let's see what happens because sometimes when we are near to our target, the market retraces. Sometimes, sometimes it happens. So it is very important to be calm, patient. Now let's see what happens whether during this recording we are able to reach the target or we will have to wait. Anything can happen in the market. GBP, JBY is moving fast towards target. Now, yeah, GBP is all moving. GBP in New Zealand. Let's wait together what happens whether we are able to achieve the target in this update video or I will have to wait for another video. Markets are trending. It is high chance that we will reach the target during this recording. I am expecting that. Euro Australian dollar. No. Oh, nice. We are near to our target now only. I will have to keep myself calm because it is better to get the target and then close the trades. In the previous challenge, when I closed uh, my trade, last trade when I was reaching the target, some cents still remained. Then I have had to place another trade to get those cents. So I hope, I think that this time I won't do that in haste and close the orders before achieving the target. Eight hundred. Now we are near eight hundred. Then, okay, that's nice. The way markets are moving in, I hope that's for this second challenge, this phase, this recording. X is expected to be final and I hope to get the third free challenge plus 800 only 200 remains I think I'm, I should wait for one or 200 to be plus after 55 as I should not place another trade to get the job done because these markets are moving in trend. Now let's see. Uh, 
and please you let me know in the comments that how many uh, dollars should I close at after 55 to save myself from placing another order now it is coming near it is quite near 55,000 is quite near Fifty-four thousand nine hundred plus sixteen, twenty, thirty, twenty-eight, thirty, twenty-nine, thirty-nine, fifty-four. I I think I must wait for one hundred. I think after fifty-five thousand. I must wait for 100 more to ensure that when I exit my target is achieved and I don't need to put another order for this challenge because you know when the target is near and you uh, close the trades in haste then you plan another trade because every entry is you have to work for it is not simple to enter in the trade a trader has to give a lot of time in calculating and analyzing to get the better entry so it is better to ensure that he exits at the now it is gone below 900 54,875 okay I think if uh, Euro UD will go up. We will be able to achieve the required target. Now it is above 900. Let's see other pairs. How is going? This is. Your GBP, let us see G, GBP JPY, GBP New Zealand. GBP New Zealand, excellent. What a pair is this? Very, very fast moving in the trend. These pairs, what we call these pairs, which which move more pips in same time frame of compared to others. UP New Zealand is very considered to be one of the best pair in fluctuations. Now again to 900 and let's see what Euro AUD is doing. Euro AUD is stopping here. Let's see what happens. And uh, I want, I can wait easily for my target. I just want that this video not be very long for you. And as well as I want you to celebrate the target achievement with me. I want to. I want to see, I want to, you to enjoy from the moment when a target is achieved and 
how a trader feels, how, how good it is. So I want you to feel this with me. So I am doing all this. Now it is hope, hope that we are near to our target. 54,900 and plus. Now let's see what UD is doing. Okay. Fifty four thousand now it is reaching to fifty five thousand it is near. I will close the trades calmly and ensure that with these trades I have achieved the target. Likewise, like I did in the last challenge, I missed some cents and I have had to put another trade to achieve those because the market is in trend, it is expected that it will meet, meet it will keep moving in the trend. Trend is your friend. But now what let's see what does it with us right now it gives us the chance to celebrate to enjoy the achievement in this recording are fifty four thousand nine hundred plus. Let us see when it touches to fifty five thousand. Let us see what happens. Yeah, excellent. It is it has touched to fifty five thousand. And now I am keeping myself calm, relaxed, and want to close this quite comfortably. It I want to let it go beyond 55,000 because you see what happens in a, in a one minute, in a second, it comes down. It became 55,000 and then came back to 900. I want to go beyond some dollars above 55,000. Because you know when uh, when we are closing the trade, it could be while closing the trade, it would come down, and I won't wouldn't be able to achieve the fifty five thousand equity, five thousand dollar profits. Now five thousand dollars is okay. Now you see my balance was forty nine thousand dollars two hundred. Means I was in loss of $800. Now I am able to, okay, the markets are moving too fast. Let's see what happens. Am I able to close my trades? At the, at my target or not? These are the moments when a trader has to be very calm, patient, cool. This is the cycle again. Now see how many times it has gone into 55 and then comes back, then it reaches back, then it reverse back. It happens if I close the trades, maybe it will be below the 55,000. So I want to let it go beyond 55 and close my trades calmly. Now I think I must close the trades. Yes, now I am closing the trades because it is 
will will beyond fifty five thousand. First closed, second closed, third closed, and fourth closed. And that's night. That's good. It is above fifty five thousand. Thank and congratulations to you that you are with me in this achievement. And now I will go. I think pips must be achieved because uh, at that uh, profit. So I will. I am going to watch it in the uh, in my dashboard. If pips have I have achieved the pips, then then I will get the uh, second chance, third 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 challenge. Thanks for watching and please comment and uh, let me know how did you feel about all this. Thanks for watching. Please share and please like and and uh, you are requested to subscribe my channel. Please subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching and.